we now do the last of our Ujjayi Mantra series, the beginner series. And I'll be introducing something new again this time. All right. But before that, I... Um, I'd like to introduce, uh, we can sit down again, either of two ways. One is Siddhasana, which I have already demonstrated. The other one would be Padmasana, which you can do. And this is, don't force yourself, it takes years to do this. But if you are already proficient with it, by all means, do so. So you lift the left foot up and towards your belly and put it on the top of your upper left thigh. We do the same thing with the left foot. We just slide it comfortably as high as it'll go and leave it here. This is Padmasana. In yogic parlance, this is the seat is the destroyer of all diseases. Uh, the rishis, the sages, the sadhus, this would be their preferred uh, seated pose, and this is the most exalted of them all. And, uh, and I would say a very close second, or perhaps an equal to that, would be Siddhasana as well. This pose centers the body, it limits the movement, and it allows you to stay centered and focused. So what we do this time, okay, just in summary, we've done the Ujjayi breath with the Yana Mudra, we've done Ujjayi breath with the Nabho Mudra, which is the tip of the tongue pressed against the top of the ta soft palate. We've also done Ujjayi breathing with the Soham Mantra. Now I will introduce something new. We will do Ujjayi breath with a breath hold, or call, breath hold is called the Kumbhaka. And essentially, a kumbhaka is, is the meat of pranayama. This is the most important part of pranayama, but this is advanced pranayama. So we will simply graze the surface by, with me introducing kumbhaka to you right now, uh, at a beginner level. We will also, I will also introduce a banda. A banda, is essentially an energy lock and the type of bandha we will be doing right now is Jalandhara Bandha which is with a straight spine we slightly move our head back slightly and then tuck our chin towards the chest so this locks our throat and it enhances the Vishuddhi Chakra when this Vishuddhi Chakra becomes activated, when it's developed, it's a different ball game. It's a game changer because you now perform things at a higher level of confidence. You now have a deeper understanding of things. And without, without putting up a Facebook channel or a YouTube channel, people will simply gravitate towards you because you have this divine radiance in you. People come to you because you can do things beyond their abilities and also because uh, you have an understanding be beyond their comprehension. So that's Vishuddhi is very, very important that way and powerful because at this point you would have already evolved from the heart chakra. Alrighty? That is the Jalandhara Bandha. But the, uh, the kumbhaka, or the breath hold, we will be doing because we will be holding the breath after the inhale. It's called the antara kumbhaka. There are three types of kumbhaka. There is antara, which is a breath hold on the inhale. There is baya kumbhaka, which is breath hold after the exhale with the lungs empty. And there is the more esoteric kevala kumbhaka. And this is, usually, this is usually achieved in deeper states of samadhi because Kevala Kumbhaka is the spontaneous cessation of the breath where you don't even 
act on it, the breath simply stops. All ready? So, let's still the mind, let us still the body, and I'll guide you through this. Empty your lungs. Let's begin the inhale, restricting the airflow as it passes through. So we're not doing chants anymore, we're not doing Nagho Mudra anymore, but we can keep the Yana Mudra because we're doing too many things right now and I don't want to put in too much on your plate. When you fill in your lungs, hold that breath, keeping the back straight, and take your chin down for Jalandara Bandha. And hold it for as long as you can. When you need to breathe, release the Jalandara Bandha first and slowly exhale. Still ensuring that your inhalation and your exhalation are done at the same length of time. So many things to keep in mind here, but as you develop proficiency, it becomes easier. Breathe in your own pace. We all have different lung capacities. Remain completely relaxed at all times. And as you hold the breath, prana no longer flows along the ida or the pingala. It now stays on the sushumna nadi. And it paves the way for a more accelerated awakening of the kundalini shakti. And also by holding the breath, it's very hard to think about something else. So the mind is also steadied. With a steady mind, with prana also becoming steady on the Sushumna Nadi, we are able to create a single-minded, a single-pointed focus of mind and awareness. You will also notice that if you are in Padmasana, it's very hard to slouch. So your back is always perfectly straight. As you are holding the breath, there is no need to put your mind focused into something else. The mind will simply empty itself, and that is one of the things we would like to realize. Emptying the mind by holding the breath, by keeping prana steady on the Sushumna Nadi.
if you're gasping for the next breath, it means you're holding it too long or you're breathing too slow. Adjust it accordingly. You should be able to hold your breath as long as possible without gasping for air, without feeling any strain. If you catch the mind drifting, again, gently bring it back into focus with no reaction, with no sense of frustration. A drifting mind is a given. From here, you can try combining or adding the Soham Mantra. As you inhale, chant the So. Holding the breath, chin to the chest, holding it for as long as you can, and chanting the Ham Mantra as you exhale. As you do it, it becomes more graceful, it becomes more fluid, and it feels more natural. You can finish your last exhale as we now conclude the segment of our Ujjayi breath with the Kumbhaka and the Bandha. You can resume normal breathing, you can open up your eyes. And congratulations, we have already finished um, our first pranayama class, which is the Ujjayi breath. <clears throat> In summary, we have, I'll put the summary as I talk about the homework. <clears throat> 